Hello. For today's video, we will be working with unit rates. Our essential question is how do you find and use unit rates? We have two vocabulary terms for today's video. The first is rate, which is a ratio that compares two quantities that are measured in different units. And the second vocabulary term is a unit rate, which is a rate in which the second quantity in the comparison is one unit. So for our first example, we're going to look at how do we find unit rates. <clears throat> While remodeling her kitchen, Angela is repainting. She estimates that she paints 55 square feet every half hour. How many square feet does Angela paint per hour? So our first step is going to be de to determine the units of our rate. So we have two things. We have square feet. Square feet, and we also have the time, which is in hours. So now we want to figure out Angela's rate of painting. So for Angela, she's able to paint 55 square feet in one half hour. Now notice I have a fraction within a fraction. As we can recall from our last module, this is called a complex fraction, where we have a fraction within a fraction. So if she paints 55 square feet in one half of an hour, I can use this to determine how many square feet she would paint in one hour. So I'm going to times one half times two, which gets me one whole, and then 55 times two, which is 110. So her unit rate for painting per hour is 110 square feet Per hour. That is Angela's unit rate. Now what I'd like you to do is pause the video and try this problem. Paige mows one-sixth of an acre in one-fourth hour. How many acres does Paige mow per hour? So for me to solve this, I know that one-fourth of an hour, I know that there are four one-fourths in one hour. So I'm going to take one-fourth times four to get one hour. So that means I'm going to take one-sixth times four to figure out how many acres she mows, which is four-sixths, and four-sixths can be reduced to two-thirds. So Paige's unit rate is she's able to mow two-thirds of an acre per hour. Now our second example is first finding unit rates, but then using unit rates. Two pools are leaking. After 15 minutes, pool A has leaked two-thirds of a gallon. After 20 minutes, pool B has leaked three-fourths of a gallon. Which pool is leaking faster? Now, in the problem, it tells us how fast the pools are leaking in terms of minutes, so we need to convert that into hours. So for pool A, it leaks two-thirds of a gallon in 15 minutes. And in terms of an hour, 15 minutes is one-fourth. So there we go. Let me erase that. There we go. Two-thirds gallon in one-fourth hour. So two-thirds of a gallon in one-fourth of an hour. It takes four one-fourths, so 15 minutes 
30 minutes, 45 minutes, and 60 minutes to reach an hour. So I times that by four to get one hour. And what I do to the bottom, I need to do to the top. So I'm gonna take two thirds times four as well. So that's two times four, which is eight, and three times one, which is three. So eight thirds of a gallon, which is also two and two thirds. There we go, two and two thirds gallon per hour. That is pool A. We'll mark that right there. Now to find pool B. So pool B says after 20 minutes, it is leaking 3 fourths of a gallon. So now 3 fourths three-fourths of a gallon per hour. So 20 minutes. What fraction of an hour is 20 minutes? 20 minutes is one-third of an hour. So now I need to convert one-third of an hour into one hour, which is multiplying by three. So if I multiply one third by three, I need to do the same to the top. My pen is not wanting to cooperate today, guys. Times that by three, so my numerator is nine. My denominator is four. Nine fourths is the equivalent to two and one-fourths gallon per hour, and that is pool B. So now I'm going to determine which one is leaking faster. Now that they are both leaking within the same time, so they've both leaked for an hour, and pool B has leaked two and one-fourths gallon, and pool A has leaked two and two-thirds gallon, which we see right here. I will circle that for you. So that's pool A, and this is pool B. So based off of my information here, I would say that pool A is leaking faster because two and two thirds is greater than two and one fourth. So pool A is leaking faster. Now what I'd like you to do is try the two your turn questions on your own. Refer to the examples and as always, if you have any questions, mark them down and we will discuss them tomorrow in class.